Let's take a look at how to convert graphs to input-output tables. Use the graph to complete the input-output table. Okay, so notice we have an in column, right, with 0, 6, 11, and 12, and an out column with 2, we don't know, 13, and 14. So when you have an input and an output column, the in number is always along, we call this the x-axis, the one that goes left to right, these are always the in numbers, and the up and down or vertical numbers are on the, we call this the y-axis. These are always going to be the out numbers. So if you look at an ordered pair, you should be able to find the in and the out. So for example, this first point, this would be the point 0, 2, right? Because it's 0 right or left, and it's up 2. So notice they're saying in zero, right? That's the X value or the left right number. And out is two. That's our Y value or the up and down number. So if I go to six, I wanna read the other half of my ordered pair, right? This is the point six because it's directly above the six. And then I can read across to see that my Y coordinate is eight, right? Because it's six to the right and up eight. So that means the output or the out number is eight. And of course you can see all of the other pairs match that same pattern, right? If I go to 11, that's halfway between 10 and 12. And that puts me at this point, I can read across to, well, that's halfway between 13 and four, or between 12 and 14, which is 13. So all of these pairs are coordinates or ordered pairs on my line. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing, use the graph to complete the input output table. Okay, so notice these are ordered pairs. For example, nine six is telling me nine to the right and up six, that would be my point right here. In my input is 12, my output is nine. Okay, that's telling me to go 12 to the right and up nine. Right, or the point 12, nine. So what I wanna do is I wanna figure out the missing value when I go 20 to the right. Okay, well let's read up to our graph. That would be the point right here, right? Notice this point is directly above the 20. So my x value or my input is 20. And then I wanna read directly across to see what my output or my y value is. Now notice it lands halfway in between 16 and 18. So that must be 17, right? Halfway between, this would be 16, 17, 18. So the output at that point would be 17. Use the graph to complete the input output table. Okay, well, 4, 6, 6, 10, 7, 12. Those are all points on the graph, right? If we go 4 to the right and up 6, we land right here. This is the point 4, 6. So another way to think about that is I, if I put in 4, I get out 6, right? That's what they mean with the input output. Same thing with these points. For example, 6, 10 is 6 to the right and up 10. That's my point right here, directly above the 6 and directly across from the 10. You could do the same thing at 7, 12. So I want to figure out my missing point. If I put in 9, what number do I get out? Well, to figure that out, read directly up from 9. Now notice, 9 would be in between, oops, I'm sorry, 9 would be over here in between 8 and 10, right? 8, 9, 10. So if I read directly up, I would land at this point, and then I can read across to see my output at that point would be 16.